Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Lauren here. I'm coming to you today with a layout for the Hip Kit Club and I've been challenged to do a layout inspired by the mood board. Now I created this mood board as well. I put it together all with these lovely pink vibes that I always tend to lean towards and I created that some time ago. So it was a really, um, when I when I was challenged to create off my own mood board, it kind of threw me a little bit. But I had a look at it and I just sort of got a bit of a vibe from it and I went from there. I tried to incorporate some of the patterned um, design elements in the mood board and it sort of just all came together. I had this really cute photo of my daughter and one of her best little friends, Misty, and they came and did some trick-or-treating in our area and they got dressed up and they looked super cute and I snapped this great little photo of them so I thought I would highlight it and... Uh, document this little memory of these two absolutely super sweet little witches who couldn't help but fill their buckets with lollies and chocolate when two little cute witches appeared at their door um, so they had a lot they had a lovely Halloween um, yeah so I thought here we go um, using the beautiful products from the October kits which were filled with all full products and Halloween and beautiful oranges and purples and pinks and um, so yeah it was it's a great kit and I know that we're all getting very excited about the November kits that are hitting your doors because it's filled with all Christmas goodies and we're thinking about our December daily but I thought I'd just share this last layout with you before I get into my Christmas mode and um, create this layout for you today. So as you can see, I'd already done some fussy cutting and I had fussy cut all these little leaves out of one of the Paige Evans pieces and it was just a pattern piece of paper that was filled with leaves and um, little ferns and things like that. So I just fussy cut those out um, here at the moment here at home and in a large area surrounding me, we are surrounded by bushfires and it's a very uneasy feeling. This has been going on for some weeks now and our town is just constantly filled with smoke and stress and worry. People are losing their homes um, where people are trying to help. We've got evacuees. We've got amazing services that are coming on board to support families. But it just feels like when we're hitting probably over the two week mark now that this is never going to end and our beautiful landscape um, that is desperate for water is um, is changing before our eyes and you know it's really worrying I haven't been a as you I haven't been on YouTube for a little while and part of that reason is I'm just I'm really just immersed in this um, this situation and creativity is sort of taken a, a back burner but I have to say that when I took time out to make these couple of layouts for the Hip Kit Club, you know, it really just, um, it nurtured me, it gave me a cuddle. Scrapbooking gave me a cuddle because it, all of a sudden, it just took my mind off what I was thinking about and what I was worried about. And I just started focusing on these little bits of paper and these stickers and this memory. And it just gave gave that worry a rest. I think that's I think that's the right term. It gave my worry a rest. <laughs> uh, so I'm um, so I'm going to be more proactive in when I don't feel like creating. That maybe I will try and pick up some something and have it in my hands, even if it is fussy cutting a detailed floral piece of paper, um, because it did. It's um, it's given me a bit of a rest, and um, I guess that's a nice thing here because I get to share this layout with you today. I had no idea when I was putting this layout. I had a, like I just fussy cut those things out, and I knew the photo, and I had a bit of an idea, but I just I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what embellishments I was going to use. So as you'll see, that this sort of um, my fiddling around and my playing, it just sort of unfolds. Um, I. At times, I usually plan out my layouts. I've got a really clear picture of what I want it to turn out like. And other times like this, I, I don't know. I'm just sticking and plonking down and just going with the flow um, just to make myself feel better. So as you can see, even though I'm on supersonic speed, it doesn't look that way in the, 
in the video because I... I'm just taking my time with this one. <laughs> so hang in there. It's like a 15 minute um, process video because I was just taking my sweet time <laughs> and looking after myself. Anyway, back onto the product. Uh, these cut files that you see me using here, this actually came in a set of pre-cut die cuts in the October kits and that, that for people who don't have a cutting machine like a Silhouette or a, or a Cricut, this was a perfect little kit to get because you got a real little bundle of cut files there, some titles, we got some leaves, we got some hearts and it was a really nice really nice little pack to get. It um, had general words in it, words that you can be a little bit more flexible like sweet and love and family, memories together as you can see I'm using here so lots of just general words that are good for any layout and that even for layouts to come after this kit's um, been you know put to rest you can use the bits you have left over in upcoming kits because they're all white and very very versatile um, so here you can see I'm just placing out all these little fussy cut pieces I'm trying to sort of even and balance up each side of the photo so I've got uh, the similar leaves on either side which gives that that cluster a bit of balance I'm not too pedantic and soon you'll see I've I run out of leaves that are the same and I just sort of plonk it on but I guess just the foundations if I did the sides the same I knew that it would sort of all come together evenly um, so as you can see here now the flowers that I'm putting on are not the same as each other but it still ends up working because those main areas that I initially started with are the same um, yeah the more I'm, I'm adding some foam tape now here to add a bit bit of dimension from those the ones that I stuck down originally were just with glue and they were flat and I'm just adding a bit of dimension just to give that layering effect on my layout now here I am I love this gorgeous puffy scripty font that we got in the kits and I'm just flicking through I knew there was a couple of words in there that I really wanted to try and use and I was super happy that I got a way to sort of incorporate them in my title and um, soon you'll see me add another word down the side of my page there which will be Halloween so a lovely simple way just to demonstrate the time of year the photo obviously tells a story of its own that you can tell my little witches are um are celebrating halloween there and you know enjoying that season um here i go i'm getting i get a bit fiddly because i think yeah i'll just stick it down and then i think no it's not centered and this is what happens when you don't measure things out i think i love watching scrapbookers that measure their titles and then perfectly position it down it's just not me I usually wing it and if I get it right the first time I'm really happy most of the time that doesn't occur and you'll see me doing what I'm doing right now which is having to reposition everything um, but once again I was just enjoying the process here and it was just lovely just to you know have my mind thinking about other things so yeah here I go again for the third time <laughs> sweet witches together yeah so as you saw earlier I just outlined that word together with just a thin tip black pen it's only a 0.2 super skinny but what it did was sort of border that title and allow it just to kind of have a an entity of its own it sort of just raised it up a little bit just by adding that thin border around there in the mood board there were some little black stars on one of the um the patterns that I had included and so I thought I'm going to add some little hand-drawn witchy woo stars around um, just to make it a little bit magical there and um, just to add to that shortly I'll at the end of the layout I add some flicks of white paint which just add to that little mixed media feel that I that I always try to um, well I, I always lean towards with my layouts at the moment there so I guess some of the things that you're seeing me do on my layouts is lots of mixed media lots of layers, using dimension, layering up my photos, ruffling up my edges and that seems to be the Lauren feel at the moment. Who knows what it will be in 12 months. I'm sure it'll look completely different but it'll um but that's that's me at the that the moment and if you're enjoying this kind of style then hang in there with me and um and I'll have some more videos I guess up soon. 
uh, this is just my hobby. I have a day, I like I work in an, another completely non-creative industry um, Monday to Friday and so this is my beautiful hobby that sort of nurtures me and let, gives me the, the, right, let's just keep going with the life treadmill. Um, so I'm really blessed that I have a hobby that, you know, fills fills me up and energizes me and gives me that time out that I need. Um, so I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Tangent, as you can see, my process videos, I'm just a bit chatty. I don't tell you what I'm doing at any one time, even though sometimes I think it might be a good idea to do that. But I think you get a general gist of watching me work as I, um, as I, as my layouts come together and, you know, and I guess I, I guess I've got a bit of a pass with this video considering what's happening at the moment and I'm where my mind actually is. Uh, I like to do voiceovers and not just add music. I like to talk things out and sometimes I come up with a bit of a tip that I think, oh yeah, people might find that useful. Um, so, so you got to bear with the rambling. I guess you could add your own music and put me on mute if you really weren't happy with the rambling. <laughs> Anyway, so here you can see it's all coming together and I'm just adding some final touches using some of the exclusive chipboard and the cardstock stickers just to add those little embellishments on, which I, you know, are, are really the gold in a layout, isn't it? When you find those little, little bits and bobs here at the end and, you know, those little X's are a testament to that. They just add that little bit of what this layout needed and um, and brought it all together, adding a little bit more dimension and helping those stars just settle back down there in the background there. Added a few little flower stickers over my ferns just to bring in the florals, a little us there because I thought that's really cute. And, um, and then I'm thinking about my journaling at the same time. Um, here I am. I really wanted to get Halloween in. So I just snuck it down the side. I squished it in and wiggled it about and squished it in there. And I think it actually is a really nice subtle effect. It doesn't take away from my border. Um, and I guess the color is helpful for that. It doesn't take away, but it adds, adds an interesting little interest point there to look at and even though I end up chopping off the H, the tops of the H and the L's there you definitely when looking at it can still see that it says Halloween and um, it's just a unique little interest point there. So here I am just adding my journaling. I'm just using my favourite pen at the moment which is a Faber-Castell um, pit artist pen I have them in a size s and f and I think the s is the thinner of the two I don't know why it's not like got sizes like normal but um, this is a dye ink as well Indian ink in this pen which allows you to write on photos um, and it not smudge so if you're interested in writing on photos I suggest you grab this pen because it's amazing here I am just using some watered down white acrylic paint just to add some white splatters and there's my layout complete so I've, if you're interested in having a look at the hip kit club or checking out the kits the, the links are in my description below. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, this is probably not the best one to come on board with because I'm doing lots of rambling. Um, but if you like my style, please subscribe and um, give it a like and share it with your friends if you think that they'd like to create a layout like I've shown you today. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Bye.